I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Toshiba Cosmeo F755 3D. This is actually a slightly updated version of the original F755 3D that we looked at about halfway through 2011. What made that laptop and this one special is that they have auto stereoscopic 3D screens. That means uh, you can watch a 3D movie without having to wear those cumbersome active shutter 3D glasses. The way it works is uh, the laptop uses its webcam to keep a, a, an eye on your face and uses special eye tracking software to adjust the different levels of the stereoscopic image so that it always stays kind of in sync for you. The downside, of course, is that it really only works for one person at a time because it has to track your eye movements. And of course, uh, the original version only worked with 3D Blu-rays and a couple of downloadable videos, did not work with video games, which seemed like a fairly big omission. Uh, the reason why we're excited to check this out again is because this new version, uh, thanks to some updated drivers from NVIDIA, actually does work with 3D video games. And well, we loaded up a whole bunch of games, tried it out, uh, worked about as well as any system with NVIDIA's 3D Vision does. Unfortunately, uh, the catch here is, and you knew there had to be one, there's a really underpowered GPU in here. Uh, it's fine for regular casual gaming, but once you move into 3D mode, uh, it just doesn't have the horsepower. It's an NVIDIA uh, a GT5 uh, 40M and it just can't play games smoothly in 3D mode because it requires uh, that the games uh, come up at the full 1920 by 1080 resolution which you normally wouldn't do with a mid-level graphics card if you're just doing casual mainstream gaming. Now turn the 3D off in 2D uh, it actually plays games just fine but turn that 3D on because you're stuck at that higher resolution even though it knocks it down to 1366 by 768 in 3D mode because it's uh, doubling so much of the information and it's just too choppy to play. We tried Skyrim, we tried Battlefield 3, uh, Portal actually worked okay. In our review we've got some more uh, frames per second breakdowns of how different games worked in 2D and 3D mode. One of the things I'm pleased about with this update though is the uh, Blu-ray performance is actually better. On the original you'd put a disc in and you'd go and get a sandwich to come back and it still wouldn't be loaded up. This time the, the custom Toshiba player used to watch the Blu-ray movies in 3D. It's still a little bit sluggish but it's actually a lot better and it stayed in 3D mode the entire time. Uh, we didn't have to mess around with a lot to get it to work. Uh, so if you're just a huge fan of 3D everything and you want to watch 3D Blu-ray movies without glasses on, it's actually kind of fun. If more games would work on the system it would be a lot more fun because I think 3D gaming on a PC is actually a lot more flexible than let's say 3D gaming on a console. Uh, but until they get a more powerful GPU in here, uh, this is still 